Hi guys, welcome to my channel of girliness and lots of fun stuff. Today's video is the room tour. I really don't know what else to say other than a quick disclaimer that yes, I tidied this room up just for you. You know, I'm just a girl with a chaotic brain. So a lot of the times things are crazy, messed up, scattered, overwhelmed. So it's actually very neat and tidy. And I hope you love it. Please leave comments down below if you want to see anything else from me. But um, yeah, I think we should just jump right into this wonderful, exciting room tour of my Y2K McBling room. Bye. Just kidding. Stay. Roll the clip. Okay, so I'm standing right behind the door that you enter the room and right here is like a picture frame and a dresser. If you're wondering what this ball is, I have to bounce on it. <laughs> because um, it helps with pregnancy for the baby to like get in the position that needs to be. What you're seeing here is very clean. I've got some flowers. My boyfriend just got those for me because he asked me to be his Valentine's. I'm like, of course, I'm literally carrying your child. No, I'm kidding. Okay, and this is my favorite little Juicy Couture purse. This is super stunning. Never, ever, ever do I use this because like, oh God forbid I ever lose it. Also, this candle is from Bath & Body Works. It smells really nice. It's the Rose Ivy Water. And my newest collection, this gorgeous like heel. I think that heel is supposed to be for or um, like a wine bottle, but I love it. I think it's so stylish. But anyway, so what I've got here in this drawer is just pretty much nothing. I've actually had to clean all of this out because by the way, guys, this room is gonna be kind of technically transformed into half of my baby's room. So I have to kind of do a little shuffle here and show you guys. This side of the wall is very, very bare. It is simply just lots of my belts this one is like my favorite one it's super super used up this one's just like classic grunge belt i've got like my big thicker ones i've got my little gorgeous dangling ones and just so you know they're like hung up by these like pink things they're very cute okay so let's get into this so these shelves are actually from walmart they're very very cost efficient they're like 65 dollars. i don't know i got three of them and my boyfriend lined them all up so yeah and i decided where else should i put my gorgeous shoes then on top and obviously my hello kitty shrine like that will never be used don't ever come into my house if i'm ever out of toilet paper don't you dare use that one that one is out of the bounds okay i want to show you guys like something that you never see but it's like a super cute addition it says surfer girl on it it's this really adorable looking stylish hawaiian girl kind of bland and boring but like i know like i do like a super crazy amount of stuff here but like i do like calm and simplicity as well so i'll show you guys the closet okay so that's what my closet looks like it's so freaking tiny i don't really have much in it other than like shoes at the top and I've got like this gigantic ensemble of purses so here are like I tried to color coordinate it like my pink purses I've got some brown ones black ones and they're all hung up on these like super cute girly hangers with like a bow on it i thrift these they come in a bag of like like 10 of them for like a couple dollars but yeah so here are some of my favorite shoes and my hello kitty alarm clock these are all shoes like i can literally not wear right now because i'm pregnant so yeah they're cute i have to think of a better use because like there's so much space up there and like these shoes take up like so much room so i need to figure that out but anyways let me know guys if you want to see a purse tour because i would love to share them i've got so many cute purses and i feel like people need to know about them but yeah in here i just have like in this box is actually filled with like a whole bunch of nostalgia goodies that i have i'm gonna make another video about that got another juicy couture purse here like it's peeling off like it's so frustrating for me but yeah i also have extra makeup supplies and then i've got some electronics and i've got sewing stuff at the bottom like crafts and then yeah here's all my shoes i got my little fuzzy boots these ones i'm currently obsessed with they're so stylish and cute but yeah, I'm trying to figure this out. Actually, this used to be my boyfriend's closet and uh, he finally gave it to me. So I'm like just getting my bearings in here, but hopefully I'll make it look even more cuter. Maybe I'll put like something here, but some like shoe racks. I don't even know. 
please leave suggestions but yeah that's my closet when you come in the room this is like the full view that you'll kind of see i've got my couch there a little lamp a little cubby that has extra shoes in it but basically i am going to show you guys everything inside of this little these compartments they are cluttered and kind of crazy and overwhelming but i love it it's my happy place so yeah let's get started this is my Nicki minaj sh shrine i have a bunch of shrines so this is actually perfumes it's like old perfumes that i got this one is like the fantasy the white one it smells so good but i'm not taking it out of the package because the package is so cute but anyways i've got my high heel shoes and i don't need to hear comments like yuck those shoes why are they on there like those are not supposed to be no i've cleaned them i've dealt with them so don't worry oh my gosh i want to show you guys i've got this sex in the city trivia game it's so cute i literally this show is my favorite show ever but i don't talk about it enough but yeah i have that there for like decoration but if i ever have a girls night i will be pulling that out and also i think i've mentioned this in my perfume video it's a paris hilton shimmer you just dab it all over your skin and it looks gorgeous but yeah we'll go move on to my next compartment so this one here has got my hello kitties can you believe i got all these and a few more on facebook marketplace for like 15 bucks like who is dumb enough to sell that anyways this is an empty bag but don't get me wrong just because it's empty doesn't mean that it's useless it's so cute and also check out who's on the back it's like a vintage well i feel like this is like a super old bag but oh, i wish it when companies used to actually make bags like this with like really cute photos and like celebrities that's when life was good okay oh and i'll tell you guys so basically i had originally planned on having all of my dogs lined up but apparently i bought too many of them so i had to stick the ugly ones here these three are my ugly ugly chuggly ones i hate the color gold and i also despise this one it's like super ugly this one is not ugly this is the love love pink this one is very cute, however, I didn't want it to taint this beautiful pinkness, so. And also, I did not mention this in my jewelry video, but this is like a freaking Juicy Couture charm bracelet. I've got the case for it here, and I think I've also, oh wait, this is the case for it, but yeah. Anyways, I just kind of have that stacked there. I don't know, looks cute. Cl cute and cluttered, which is my motto for life. I'll show you guys. This is my dog collection. It's with the most scrumptious, diddly dumptious dogs ever. Victoria's Secret Pink Edition. Okay, so this one is my personal favorite. I thrifted it in the States for like five dollars. This one's so cute. It has like a little hoodie and it has the most iconic pink and white stripes. I'll show you guys a few more that I'm obsessed with. Obviously the cheetah print one. It says forever pink she's my second favorite i love this one because it's neon and the texture is like kind of cool um this one feels like it's a little more modern for my liking because like i don't know but i still love it and then lastly one of my favorite ones is this one i love french kissing so cute look at that tag like can i get a tattoo of that it looks adorable anyways i need to stop making this whole room tour about my dogs and i'm gonna move on however before i do that i have like little spots where i collect certain like knickknacks super old electronics this phone actually does work ring 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 and i've got my ipod fun fact i actually bought this for 50 dollars at a pawn shop but my mom bought me one of these in 2009 it like literally transported me and made me into the person i am today and also yes if you're wondering i do have a blackberry and no it doesn't work unfortunately we'll leave my cute little puppies alone and oh i'll show you guys up here so i've got a couple sunglasses this really cute pillow that says p is for princess duh i've got my jewelry here i will link it down below or you guys can look at my channel i've done a whole entire little shebang about all the jewelry that i have i tried to organize it but just know that it's gonna be messed up in <laughs> less than a week because i literally shuffle through that thing like it's nobody's business here's the next cubby slot this is a monster energy drink which god forbid i will never drink these things my boyfriend got it for himself but then i was like wait that's so cute that's pink i love it and it's strawberry so i was like okay 
you know what? I will take this and it's actually full, so we'll see how long it lasts. <laughs> but I have it here for decorations purposes. Um, and then I've got this perfume, which is, should be on my perfume rack area. But yeah, this is like the Christmas edition. I don't know what year it is. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one. Okay, you know that song? This is the variation of that. It smells like a purple grape smell. And if you know anything about me, I freaking hate that smell. And this seriously insane artifact. It's like a really old... Victoria's Secret like pack from like I think it was like their Christmas pack the stars move I don't know it's just so lovely the one and only Bratz that I own that's like I'm pretty sure this is super super vintage <laughs> kind of cool though it's a wild wild west one and just know she is wild but she's being covered up anyways oh and this is a candle I will never ever light I know I have certain things that I like have function but I will never use them with that function in mind this one oh this one smells so good it's warm and cozy and oh my god warm and cozy these are both exact smell this one's like a really old bottle i collected this from the thrift store i freaking bought it i don't know if the tag's still on it but like very iconic i bought that cream from the thrift store i don't know what baddie had that before but donated it thank you for donating it not throwing in the trash here's a random bracelet and my sexy shoes that still have a freaking price tag on the top. This one is a work in progress. Each of these cubbies are work in progress, but I will show you guys my absolute most favorite one, which is this one right here. Basically, it's like everything baby pink and cute. Here we go. I got some cameras here. These are, this is like my newest addition. It's a blue Canon camera. Like how the heck did I get so lucky? And I've got a flip phone. Oh yeah, we'll put that there. I've got um, a blanket from Five Below, my Bebe perfume. And like, these are actually, this is actually empty, but I have it there just because I feel like it fits with the vibe. And I also have two CDs, Hannah Montana and Britney Spears. I don't ever play them, but I have them for memories because one day CDs are not gonna be around and people are gonna be like, paying a million dollars for that stuff so these are also unopened i hate the smell of them but she looks so scrumptious there so i had to put it and there's my diva candle like who made this candle look so freaking cool okay wait let me show you guys and then this is just like a fun little trinket i thrifted if you guys go to the thrift store don't just look at the clothes look at other things that they have like they have like furniture and they have knickknacks i found this little knickknack there it's so stylish it's so cute and it was $1.99 price tag still there i've got a couple more cameras there and my juicy couture case but basically that's my favorite little slot just because it's super aesthetically pink and cute now for this little cubby here this one's just like a lot of my books i'll show you one book that i'm obsessed with it's confessions of paris hilton lots of fun stuff in this book like super super cool photos that i'm not going to show you guys here but <laughs> if you ever get your hands on that book you definitely want to keep it forever because i don't know if some of those photos are even published on the internet this is my juicy couture bag it's a doggy bag have I ever shown you guys this? It's so cool. I filled it up. I puffed it up with a blanket. As you can see, I stuffed a blanket in there just because I'm like, I don't want it to lose its shape. Okay, and then for anyone wondering, like, what are these, like, little bins here? First of all, I didn't have enough space or I didn't have, like, any clue what to do with this area. So I just put little bins here. Do you think, like, I should go with, like, a gray or a beige? Like, do you think the gray is too much? I don't know. Let me know. But basically, I won't really show you too much. I just kind of organized it. Like, these are my, my pouches and makeup bags. I've got uh, some more makeup bags and some random pants. <laughs> but yeah, we'll move on. They're mostly not very organized, but they have their purpose. So yeah, here is my cubby that I kind of just threw random stuff in. I have this pillow. These are just empty. They're just really cute containers. I will fill them up with stuff maybe, but yeah. And then I also have a bucket of like super nostalgic stuff. Stuff from like dates that I went on with my boyfriend. I've got some hair extensions from Claire's. Oh my gosh, I forgot all about this. My Hello Kitty flip phone. And then I also have my Justin Bieber, like actual perfume inside, if you see it. I just keep it here for show. Yes, I did pay $12 for it. And I know you're jealous, but <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I also have my cute little Barbie DVD cassette player, whatever crap you call it. 
it doesn't really work unfortunately but it's totally cool for show and i literally half the stuff in my closet half the stuff in my life doesn't work but it has a visual appealing purpose so yeah okay so up here is just kind of boring it's just a little plush couch apparently this is a build-a-bear couch I also have some of my heels on there and this cute little heart candle. This is the, my most expensive cubby, okay? These are all my perfumes. I'll just say off the top of my head right now, this is the most delicious perfume ever. This one and the baby pink one. I think it's called Good Girl. And yes, this is a speaker, okay? This is like a freaking speaker. Hello Kitty speaker. And guess what? I have nothing that works for that. I can't even put my iPod in here. Like work i'm devastated but anyways i have all my perfumes here i did a perfume video i'll also link that in the bottom caption of this video if you wanted to check that out but yeah and my second favorite perfume which my boyfriend got me for my birthday last year was is this jimmy Choo? if you like cherry or like sweet and sour oh, that one's so good moving on i had literally no idea what i was gonna put here i thought i had a lot of stuff but then i was like you know what actually i don't this is just like my silver cubby. I've got a lampshade there, my Kathy purse there, and then, oh God, just some jewelry. And then I have this MAC sticker because I love MAC. MAC was super 2000s. And another kit. This is a Paris Hilton kit. Okay, this one's like really basic, just a, like a little purse. And in there is like crafts. But I'm not going to bore you guys with that. <laughs> a lot of the stuff in my room is like thrifted or just collectibles and things like that. That, you know, some people would not care for. But I love collecting junk and knickknacks and things that don't necessarily match. Just because life is not supposed to be black and white. You have to be silly and fun sometimes okay so we're moving into like the last little corner of my room i used to have this desk like along this side of the wall so that you could see like the backdrop of my cute little shelf that i made i can't get any of this scuff off so please just don't mind that but anyways in here i have a really special photo album of like private photos and my newest Hello Kitty edition, my friend got that for me for christmas and also teen spray deodorant stick spirit or sprite however you want to say and oh yes of course i use this it's my ipod except it's dead right now and i've just got like some of my favorite perfumes that i currently wear this one is so nice but i would recommend this one mostly for spring either way then i've got my water bottle and my it's like my hello kitty planner my friend got it for me it's so cute and yeah this is where i usually sit and do my makeup i'll quickly show you guys what my little drawer looks like so those were eyelashes, obviously, but I've kind of separated things like my concealers and stuff over there. I've got like lots of eyeliner stuff and just things that are long and narrow like this, like lip liner, blah, blah, blah. I've got blush in the back. I've got eyeshadow palettes here and then a whole gigantic tray of just tons of lipstick. Okay, and then this is just like kind of some PR that I've gotten, some like unopened boxes. I've got my nail kit stuff here. This pack of nails, I'm like dying to try it, but like they're so gorgeous. I don't know if I'm ready to open that package. Got just like a little container with stickers, hair accessories, and blah, blah, blah. And yeah, pretty much nothing else in here because I am doing like a whole revamp. So yeah, that's my little makeup desk. Could be cleaner, of course, but like I'm a girl. So what the heck do you expect? Okay, and then moving along. So what I've got in that little white bin is just, actually that's gonna be my little baby's hamper where I put his dirty clothes. But I have it in here for now as like a fashion statement. And I have like little Hello Kitty stuff on there. I have my super cute inflatable Hello Kitty. <laughs> oh my gosh, when I asked my boyfriend to pump that up, we don't even have a pump. So he literally got so dizzy <laughs> pumping that up. But yeah, I usually have to pump it up pretty often. But yeah, this is it. It's so cute. I love this. I have one more of it. I found it at this convenience store. And I've also just kind of got my mirror here. I was going to put these little dice on my car, like in my mirror. But then I was like, yeah, I'm probably going to get an accident. So <clears throat> won't do that. But yeah, that's pretty much my room. Like that's where I was standing before showing you guys. It's very cute, calm. It's really nice in the summer. I usually open the windows and air is really nice. I live in a nice area where it's not too crazy busy there's lots of trees and stuff so overall this is my room i hope you liked it and that concludes my super fab room tour i'm sorry if i was like out of breath or anything like that i'm pregnant so basically my airways are 
little more constricted because I have a little bean in my belly. So yeah, that's my little PSA. Either way, if you liked my video, please don't forget to share, like, subscribe, comment, anything helps. I love you guys so much. I'm really grateful that I had the opportunity to clean up this room and, you know, film this for you because I know everyone's been asking me about it. So yeah, either way, this room will be demolished. Well, not entirely, but I'm going to be making this into half of it of my baby boy's room. If you guys want to see any of my baby clothes or what I thrifted or like anything about his room and his setup, please let me know. Um, I'm really excited and I really have no problem sharing at all. Thank you guys for watching once again. It means the world to me. I hope I'll see you in my next video. Yeah. Okay. Well, anyways, have a good night. Good day. Bye.